Tribology. What is it? Why should you care? Hi, I'm Lake Speed Jr., Total Steel Piston Rings, and that strange word, tribology, is the study of friction, wear, and lubrication. Now, you may be wondering, what does that have to do with piston rings? Well, besides the fact that piston rings operate on a thin film of oil, there's actually a lot of tribology in piston rings. Let me explain. The majority of friction in an engine is actually related to the piston ring and cylinder wall rubbing together. In fact, Ford Motor Company did a test recently that demonstrated over 45% of all engine friction is related to the piston ring touching and rubbing against the cylinder wall. Because a piston changes direction twice each stroke, a piston ring accelerates and decelerates over 250 times per second at 7,500 RPM. The constant changes in speed in cylinder pressure create a very unique phenomenon. A piston ring experiences all three stages of lubrication every engine cycle. Let me explain what those three stages of lubrication are. Those stages of lubrication are hydrodynamic, mixed, and boundary. Let me explain what each of those mean. If you've ever been water skiing, you'll know that when the boat is stopped, the skier is down in the water. As the boat begins to accelerate, the skier begins to come up out of the water, and once the boat reaches cruising speed, then the skier is on top of the water. When the boat is stopped and the skier is down in the water, that's like the boundary condition, metal on metal contact. There isn't a film of oil or a wedge of water in this case to lift the skier up yet. As you skier comes up out of the water and we begin that, that transition period, that's like the mixed film where you're some metal to metal contact, some oil film. Then the hydrodynamic, that full film lubrication is like the skier being on top of the water. The parts are completely separated, riding on that film of oil, or in the case of a skier, riding on top of the water. Just as the change in speed has an impact on how quickly the skier comes up out of the water, a change in load also has an impact on how quickly the skier comes up out of the water. A big skier on one ski takes a lot more speed to come up out of the water compared to a smaller skier on, say, two skis can come up out of the water much easier at a lower speed. Now you're wondering, what does any of this have to do with piston rings? Well, bear with me. As that piston changes direction, each stroke is just like that water skier going through all three stages of lubrication. As the piston nears top dead center on, say, a compression stroke, you have increasing cylinder pressure by compressing that intake charge along with decreasing speed because the piston has to stop. That forces the piston rings into the boundary condition, which is higher friction, higher wear. Think about it. Where is most of the wear in a cylinder bore? Near top dead center because that's where the piston rings are in the boundary condition during that cycle. Next, as the piston begins to accelerate away from top dead center, it's just like that water skier coming up out of the water. It's first in that mixed film condition. As it begins to accelerate, there's still some metal to metal contact, some oil film forming, but then as the piston reaches mid stroke, it's at the fastest speed, then it's in the full film condition. Boundary lubrication. The piston ring is actually separated from the cylinder wall by a very thin film of oil. So the piston ring is experiencing all three stages of lubrication, which means we can use the science of tribology to unlock more power and better durability. Let me explain how. First, we can reduce friction and wear in the boundary regime by applying PVD phase coatings to the ring that function as dry film lubricants. These reduce friction and reduce wear 
when the ring is near reversal in those high load, low speed areas. Next, we can reduce friction in the mixed film regime by utilizing smoother surfaces. Really rough surfaces require more speed, less load, to be able to form the film to overcome the surface roughness. Utilizing smooth surface finishes allow a quicker transition, which means less friction and less wear. Finally, thinner rings equal less friction. Think about it. Big wide skis, more drag. Thinner piston rings equal less drag. Less drag means more horsepower. So you can see that by applying the science of tribology to piston rings is an easy way to unlock horsepower and reduce wear in your engine. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. If you have any questions, hey, give us a call. 623-587-7400. Thanks for watching.